Good day. Um, I'm Michael Bender with the Center for Fiscal Equity. This is the appropriations uh, testimony that I submitted in, in written form uh, to the Agricultural Rural Development and FDA Subcommittee for the FY23 budget. Um, the this, this, this testimony on SNAP was provided both to this committee and to Labor HHS um, Ed, um, but I'm going to discuss it here. It concerns my personal welfare as an SSDI beneficiary as well as for all retirees. Uh, the need for an immediate call for Social Security recipients is obvious and it would save money in the short and long runs as would increasing the minimum wage and thereby increasing both funding and the annual COLA for benefits due to increased inflation because of such an increase. Meaning if you, if you inflate um, the wage, then it marches through and inflates the COLA and the basic benefit you would rebase. Uh, I found out last week that I am eligible for food, for food stamps, so I applied. My usual benefit is now $20 per month. It had been 14 when I first received SSDI. Uh, I did not bother to use the benefits. And, you know, they expired. Uh, I first received it when I first received SSDI. Uh, okay, I said that. Uh, when the, pa when the pa pandemic increase in benefits to 250 was enacted in Maryland, I did not connect the dots on my personal eligibility. I am no longer scraping by. Those retirees and the disabled who have, who have not known that the new benefit applied to them are still hungry. Uh, Social Security needs to let them know um, to apply in the short run. Members should do, member, members of Congress should do so in frank correspondence as well. In the long run, which may be in months, likely during the coming fiscal year, COLA rules must be changed so that the average retiree is no longer el is no longer eligible for SNAP. That they are is scandalous and also fiscally stupid. You know, when, COVID, when the COVID special funding goes away, people will be hungry again, including me. Um, applying for benefits is not easy. Because I have an MPA, it is not hard for me. For others, it is daunting. Um, yeah, it's, I, it, all, it is also not cost effective for every eligible retiree or disability beneficiary to do so when benefits can simply be increased Again, by increasing the minimum wage and rebasing benefits. Until the latter is accomplished, waiting for seniors and the disabled to apply is penny-wise and pound-foolish. This, this will also vastly decrease workloads at the state and local levels, even and especially in red states. Um, let me shout out, I mean, I've all caps it, uh, that SNAP money is federal. So they're providing more money to retirees, the disabled, as well as, stu as stipends to students in ESL, GED apprenticeship and associate's degree programs would allow huge reductions in SNAP spending, as would a higher child tax credit, adjusted to median income levels, of course. Last year, um, this is the second piece, last year I recommended that the FDA should both self-support with fees and licenses which would also fund NIH and, and, and National Science Foundation research. Um, NIH should also retain ownership of orphan drugs with their distribution funded by contract to Big Pharma. I have not changed my mind and the latest round of advertising from Pharma shows that the topic is still very current, uh, especially when, on the Washington airwaves. Um, last year, I suge suggested that the Foreign Agricultural Service work more for overseas farmers and less for domestic agriculture and thus be transferred to the Agency for International Development. I stand by the prior but doubt the formal will occur. You know, nobody likes to give up turf. Um, in this case, please release the F, increase the, the FAS, that's the Foreign Agricultural Service uh, budget, to provide technical assistance on setting up land-grant universities to attract the, be the best farmers rather than sending them here on a path to H-1B status and eventual citizenship. Um, so, you know, we don't need to train people how to do agri modern agriculture in the United, and then have them be in the United States. They need to, they need to you know, go back uh, or just teach them there and then they don't come. Um, send, the, send the teachers, not the students. 
it's cheaper that way. Um, such schools should also include how to set up both commodities futures operations and English and American style land ownership, uh, both with, and both with a technical assistance from the Foreign Agricultural Service. Um, th then I've, um, I, I linked to uh, my video on, and comments, the committee reports and the budget process, uh, which um, I will not repeat here. Um, and, but I will add that the vast majority of USD activities can be attributed to state and, and the state and region in which they are performed, including SNAP, Packers and Stockyards, Food Safety, Animal and Plant Health, Soil Conservation, School Nutrition and Extension Services, uh, Headquarters, the Agriculture Research Service, and FDA activities would not be assigned to regions because they serve all regions. Um, any explanatory material would address imbalances in spending, for example, that the South and Midwest have higher expenditures in packing and stockyards. Um, thank you very much for your time um, on what's essentially a two-part um, video on social insurance um, divided between agriculture and labor HHS. Um, again, um, you know what to do with the, with the comments and the subscription and um, Patreon um, or just sending it to other members and staff. Uh, feel free to put this on the, the web page for, well, they don't put videos on, on, uh, on the Appropriations Committee uh, web page. Well, more's the pity. It would be interesting to see what people would say. Um, again, thank you very much. Have a pleasant day.